Hi, this is a demonstration of ProScore's Nuka Scoreboard software on a computer with a wireless keypad. So let's start with powering up the computer. And I'll show you the keypad in the meantime. And here we have a keypad with color buttons and the function buttons. And don't be scared by the look of it. It's actually very simple and you will learn how to operate ProScore with this keypad in a few moments. So when this computer starts up, it will launch ProScore automatically. So all you have to do is to wait for maybe a minute for the ProScore to launch, like that. So this is the launch screen of the scoreboard. This is not the scoreboard, but we are going to enter the scoreboard. Now, with the keypad here, make sure that the power button at the bottom is turned on. Otherwise, it won't function. So this is the keypad and this is the scoreboard launch screen. So what we are going to do is to select the snooker scoreboard. So we press the enter key on the keypad and we will skip this page for now. So I'll press enter again and here we'll skip this page as well. So we will enter the scoreboard right away. So this is the scoreboard that we are going to score our frame. Now, there are buttons here we need to operate. And let's start the frame by starting the frame clock. So the clock is the C button here. So I'll press the C button and the frame clock starts. At any time you want to stop the clock, you press the same button again and that will stop the clock. So let's continue the frame. Now the player start the break and they play on the table and whoever comes to the table you press the P button that's for the player so you see how I switch the player by pressing the P key or the enter key that will switch the player on the table so let's say this player put a ball you will add the pawns by pressing the color buttons. So the first ball he's ported would be a red ball. So I press the red and then let's say he port a blue. So I'll press the blue ball on the keypad and say he continue the break by porting a red ball. I'll press the red again and then say he port a green. I'll press the green. Until the break is finished, you switch the player to the next person. So this is how you add the break or you add the pawns during a competition. You enter the first ball and then the second ball and the third ball and the fourth and so on until the break is finished. And then you switch the player. Now, if you made a mistake and you want to undo the scoreboard, you can undo one step at a time. And to do that, you press the E key. The E stands for error. So you made an error, you want to go back one step. So I'll press the E key here. You see, the scoreboard go back one step and the score begins to wind back one step at a time. So, if you make a mistake, don't worry, um, you can go back or you can undo one step at a time. So I can continue the frame with the correct scores. So, let's say if this player made a foul shot. So, say um, the white ball went into the pocket and uh, he's going to give away four pawns to the other player. So to do that, you press the F button 
followed by the number of pawns. So let's say um, he's going to give away four pawns. So you press the F button. You see the file word here. And then you press the pawns or the number of pawns to be awarded. So that would be the four pawns that I talk about. So four pawns has been added to, to the other player. So this is how you enter a foul pawns. And if you um, if that player decided to take a free ball, you use the F button as well. But this time you press the F button twice. So F and F will give you the free ball mode. So this player is attempting to pot a free ball. So whatever ball he pots, he will get one point. So if he succeeded in potting a free ball, you will add one point to this person. So I'll say I'll press um, the red ball because that's one point. So that adds that free ball to the scoreboard and he can continue by potting the color balls such as the pink ball and back to the red and so on. So this is how you work on a uh, free ball. And in case you enter the foul ball or the free ball mode by accident and you want to dismiss it or if he attempt a free ball but he failed, he didn't pot any ball, you want to dismiss the free ball mode. To do that, you press the F key until this red word disappear, like that. So you just repeatedly press the F and it will give you a foul or free ball or nothing. So this is how you add the free ball or the foul pawns with that button. And let's say um, a winner is decided. So let's say um, we have a winner on this frame and we need to end this frame. To do that, we have to press the W button for the winner's information page. So we press the W button and it will enter the winner's information page. And to confirm the end of frame, you will press the green button. In this case, with a keypad, you will press the green button. And what happened just now is that one frame has been awarded to the winner of the previous frame and the scoreboard has been reset and the clock is stopped and everything goes back to zero. So to start the second frame, I'll start the clock by pressing the C button and again I'll switch the player until a ball is ported. Now, I'm going to tell you one more thing. If you don't want to add pawns after every pot, you can add the total break pawns when a break is finished. And to do that, you press the B button followed by the total number of pawns and enter. And you will add the total number of pawns in the break. So let me show, it, show you how it's done. Say player 1, he just made a break of 25. So instead of adding points for every ball, you add the total number of points in the break. So for 25 points, you press the B button, and that's the, um, the add break screen. And you enter 25, so 2 and 5, and enter to confirm. And 25 points has just been added to the scoreboard. So let me do it again. Let's say player 2, he made a break of 34. So I push the B button and 3, 4, enter. So 34 points has been added to the scoreboard. 
And remember, if you made a mistake, you came here by mistake. You don't want to add points for anything. You press the same button to, dis to dismiss this page. So I'll press the B button again to dismiss it. So, because, you know, people make mistakes at times. So, if we come here by accident, we push the same button, we'll dismiss that screen and take you back to the scoreboard. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is the menu. There are a lot of other functions you can perform with the menu. So that's the M button. So I press the M button and there are a lot of choices. There are actually two pages of functions and I won't cover them all here. I'll just show you how to navigate the menu and make a selection. So to navigate the menu, you have to go up and down. On the keyboard, you can use the arrow keys to go up and down quite easily. But this is a keypad. It doesn't have the up and down arrow button without a lot of complicated actions. So three of the color balls serve as the navigation buttons under the menu. And the two buttons are the yellow button, which is the up arrow, and the black button, which is the down arrow. And to make a selection, the select button is the green ball. So with these three buttons, you can navigate the menu, make a selection, confirm a selection. So let me show you an example. I like to do a re rack of this frame. So what I would need to do is to navigate down the menu by three steps to re rack. So I push the black ball button, which is the actually a down arrow. So I press the black button three times to go to the re rack menu. And to confirm this selection, I press the green ball. So it asks me to confirm re rack. So I can either go down or go up to cancel. So let's say I want to confirm. So I use the black button to navigate down the menu and I'll press the green ball or the three points button to confirm the selection. So the scoreboard has been re -rack. So there are lots of other functions you can perform on the menu but uh, we won't cover them all here. But you see here, the menu is actually two pages long so you have to scroll all the way down to see the other choices. But this is like the basics of ProScore, so um, I won't cover every function here. But the other thing I want to show you is to how to turn off the computer from the keypad. Um, to turn off or to quit ProScore on the computer, you can use the escape key on the keyboard but this keypad doesn't have an escape key so we will use this menu and we will navigate we we'll just scroll down to the second page and you see here that says quit and shut down so let me go up one step by pressing the yellow button so to confirm I'll press the green button and it asks me to either cancel or to quit the scoreboard so it takes me back to Windows or to shut down the computer altogether. So let me shut down the computer from here. So I'll go down two steps by pressing the black button twice. And to confirm, I'll press the green button. And it asks me, do you really want to shut down the computer? If it's yes, I'll press the enter key and it will shut down the computer in a few seconds. So this is like a quick rundown of starting the computer and operating the ProScore software with a keypad 
and to shut down the computer. So this is very simple and I hope this is clear enough for you to operate the ProScore. And if you have any questions, send me a message. Thank you.